Hi, I'm Samantha McDouglas from TheBridgeTeachers.com. Come look over my shoulder at a defense problem. So on this hand, we have a three card ending. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and show you the other two hands. They're just clubs. Our partner has three clubs, and our opponent has three clubs. These cards are actually completely irrelevant because they can't interact with us in any way, shape, or form. We are obviously going to be playing red cards, and Dummy is going to be playing red cards, and the black cards are irrelevant because, of course, this is no trump. So even though Declara has the Ace, King, Queen of Clubs, it isn't going to do them any good. They're going to lose those tricks. Now, our question is, how are we going to take two of these three tricks. So you can see this, but I'm going to go ahead and go over it for you real quick. The king of hearts is the high heart, and our jack is going to lose to it, and then we have the ace, jack of diamonds, with the queen, nine of diamonds. So our goal here is to take two of these last three tricks. We can't take all three, but we can take two. So how are you going to do that? You're going to do it by leading a heart. And I know, I know it is hard to lead something that you know is going to lose. You're like, but Sam, I lead the Jack of Hearts and they're going to win the King. Why would I do that? Why would I lead something I know is going to lose? Because it benefits you. And because it's unavoidable. You are always going to lose a trick to the Jack of Hearts. Sooner or later on this hand, somebody is going to lead a heart and the King is going to win. Your Jack is always going to lose to that king because the two of you have three red cards left and you have the same number in each suit so there's always going to be following suit sooner or later they're going to lead the king of hearts and you're going to play the jack or you're going to lead the jack of hearts and they're going to play the king it can't be avoided and that's important because if you look at that and go oh well it can't be avoided it's always going to happen then it's really easy to go well i'm not giving them something when i lead a heart that's a trick they're going to always win anyway but the difference is, who is leading diamonds? So the real question on this hand is, do we want to be playing before or after the west hand in diamonds? We want to be playing after. And I'm going to give you a little hint. The answer to that question is always after. <laughs> we always want our high cards playing after the opponent's high cards. So when we look at diamonds, if we play diamonds, we're in a really bad position because they play after us. So if we play the jack, they're going to play the queen. And if we play the ace, they're going to play the nine. They're going to get a diamond trick. But if we play after the them, if they lead the nine, we win the jack. If they lead the queen, we win the ace, and then our jack is good. So no matter what happens, if they lead diamonds, we get two diamond tricks. But if we lead diamonds, we only get one diamond trick. And so because we're sitting in front of them, bridge goes clockwise, and we generally play before them because we're on the clock face, we're before them. Which means that anytime we play a card or anybody else other than them plays a card, we're gonna be playing before them. But if they are leading, we're playing fourth. And fourth is a really strong position to be in. And of course the key is, we want to play after them. And the thing that's nice about fourth is fourth is last. So we're playing after everybody. When you get to play after everybody, you can decide, okay, I see all the other three cards on the trick. I know exactly what I'm going to do because I can see all of the cards. If you're playing first, everybody plays after you and you have a huge disadvantage. We want to play after them. The way to do that is to lead the heart. And let me show you. We lead the heart. They win. They don't have a choice. And now they're leading and we're playing after them. So if they play the nine of diamonds, we'll win the trick with the jack, and then our ace obviously will be good. And if they play the queen of diamonds, we'll play the ace, and then our jack will be good. Because we are playing after them, we will take both of these tricks. So the answer to the question, why would I lead something I know is going to lose, is because it puts me in a really good position in another suit. So there's no cost. The king of hearts is always going to take a trick. We can't stop that. We're not giving that to them. So there is zero cost because it is something we are always going to lose. That trick is always going to be lost. But what it does by losing it now is it puts us in a good position. We now get to play after them. 
Whereas if we don't want to lead the heart because we don't want to lose that trick, spoiler, you're always losing that trick. You can't avoid it. But if you do that and you play diamonds, now you only get one diamond trick. Because when you play the ace, they play the nine, and then your jack loses to the queen. And if you play the jack, they play the queen, and you only get one trick. The only way to get two tricks is to make them lead diamonds by losing the heart, putting them on lead, and playing them, and forcing them to lead diamonds to us. Losing something that you're always going to lose anyway to put yourself in a better position is a really great thing to do. So think about it sometimes. Oftentimes, leading something you know is going to lose is the winning choice. Thank you.